Okay, today I'm going to give you a mini review of a GPS cycling computer. This is from a Taiwanese company called Brighton. Okay, they've been operating a few years, not very long, but they're already great value for money compared with other units. If I do mention the other competitors' names, then um, I'm not getting paid by anybody, so I've got no problem with the other companies. It's just, uh, just to give you an idea of um, comparing what's out there okay so this is um, what I bought was the Brighton Rider 420 now this unit cost me about 95 pounds 93 95 pounds which uh, in dollars US dollars is around about um, 110 112 dollars so great value for money for, for when you find what's in that unit okay so the box arrived so the box come with a 420 so out comes the actual unit itself you've got the bicycle mounts okay the bicycle mount itself which i've mounted on the bike and plenty of rubber rings you get an overage of rubber rings they always come in handy you can use them for other things as well your lights etc okay i do recommend um, an extension mount for the bike you can buy those separately or if you upgrade for the other units they all come in the, the package as well obviously they cost you a bit more okay i use mine with a heart rate monitor this model with a heart rate monitor um, this will connect to ant and bluetooth ant plus and bluetooth okay and pretty much all the other things that you find on um, particular competitor models um, it is um, ipx7 it's waterproof now the good thing about this unit is the battery life i haven't seen any other unit um, GPS unit that has got a life this long okay it's said to last 35 hours I haven't tried this but when I have gone out on rides and um, say for two or three hours minimal minimal amount on the bar has gone down on the bar so the battery bar hardly anything okay so I tend um, I tend to believe it okay so let's um, switch on the unit so the button at the back for switching on the unit is this um, right hand one here okay now this is good if you accidentally start and stop and you save your ride on other units they might be on the front okay you've probably never done it but there is a way that you could probably press it two or three times and accidentally um, upload your ride already to your app but this stops you doing it now you can buy mounts like I have so you can get your fingers behind more so it's more of a um, an arch sort of mount that you can mount for the bike to do that okay so if I switch it on now it comes up pretty quickly so also the GPS it will find the signal just the same as the um, the other manufacturers okay just as quick okay so this one I'm indoors and a um, minute or so and it will probably find find that okay so I've got a at the moment um, different displays I've already set them up on there you've got um, five or six display pages on there and I've set three up already so I've got a five a six and a seven display module on there as I say, it will um, connect into your sensors, so you can put your cadence sensor on, your power meter, etc. It will find it. And you can also, once you've started your ride, you can change this um, at will. So you can change it to the other pages, quite simply. Okay, when you record your ride, you go to record your ride and do it manually. You can push the start and stop button, that's here. So these are easy access, you're not going to do a lot of damage, you're not going to um, accidentally save it on these buttons, so start and stop. Okay, um, I can also set my memory, which I do on this, a memory um, to, to remind me, to, uh, to nudge me, to say um, I've um, started riding and do I want to, to start saving the ride, etc. Do I want to record the ride? So I start the ride. And after the message, I might start the ride and uh, I might not. So I can also scroll it with this button here and you don't have to record the ride, but you will get the data come up on the system anyway. So 
you will get everything, but you won't record the ride. I don't know why you want not to record the ride, but there you go. Okay. So when you want to pause, you just hit the button on the back. So you can slide it across on the mount that you've got and then hit the button if you can't get your fingers under. And it gives you um, a choice in the menu. You could see that, a choice in the menu. So continue, if you press again, you continue the ride. So just to pause, you can auto pause as well, which will do the same thing. You can also scroll down and that will give you the option to save the ride. So just one touch here and then that will save the ride. Okay. You can also use the back button again and that will take the pause off as well in one touch rather than these buttons here. Okay. So if I show you the mount on the bike, um, first of all, I, I mean, I will say um, about the mapping on there at the moment, the 420, the map is mapping is in black and white. Now this wasn't something that I use anyway. If I'm going to go somewhere, I can mount my phone on the bike and I can use that as a, a bike um, GPS mapping system. So I can use, um, it's like a sat nav anyway on there, so I can use color mapping. Now, if you buy, if you um, want to buy their top range model of the, the 860, the Rider 860, that will have color mapping on it already. So um, you get, you'll, you'll get, you, you know, you get used to what you're, you're used to really. So um, not something that I found that I needed, but it's on there. So you can upload from Komoot to here and that will map a route and it will follow, but it'll be an analog black and white, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'll show you the mounts on the bike. So, excuse me one moment while I just take you off manually. Okay, so this is a well-known brand on the left. Sorry about that. So, well-known brand on the left. It still, it will go in with the mount, the Brighton mount. It will go in, but it won't clicking but I, I didn't find any problem at all riding with this particular manufacturer's well-known manufacturer's make of arm okay couldn't get your finger under there easily to, to, to work the buttons but you twist it you've got uh, no problem with that this particular one um, I've taken off the ring mount that you get with the rubber mounts so you can mount that manually on a Garmin mount just take off the old mount there is a there's normally um, a screw here you can remove the other mount the other manufacturer's mount I'll probably mention but there we go and yeah yeah sorry okay so you twist it in so you get a little click so it does click in just makes it a bit firmer this particular arm I've got has got an arch so I can get my finger underneath so if I was uh, doing a triathlon duathlon I would uh, quick get away um, I can switch it on and off on that mode because when you've done your first swim or your first run um, the machine does go off on the bike you need to switch that on again so you just a quick push of the button there okay I've got two mounts because you can mount your phone on on the other side if you want to. So you've got your mapping and you've got your your um, your Brighton GPS on the other bike. I'll show you. I've also bought a Brighton mount which isn't very much at all online, and it is again from China, and that clicks in nicely. So that's pretty firm. That one there. Okay, but it will work as I say with the other manufacturers. If I show you the app that you can upload your details to, right, first of all, sorry, you can't see that very well, but you've got the Brighton um, website. Um, you've got support um, tutorials, you've got um, all the GPS cycling computers um, listed on the page, different pages. Um, they weren't there over lockdown, but they should be now. Also, you've got your Brighton app, so um, 
if you want your, your Brighton website, so it's uh, www.brightonsport.com. If you want your Brighton app, it's www.active.brightonsport.com. And then you'll get your app details. This is the desktop version. There is an app as well. Um, it will upload your activities. It will give all your data. It will give your map, your data, pretty much the same if you, as, as your competitors. You've got your heart rate, your cadence, calories, etc., etc. You can also edit and rename. Um, gives a bunch of a numbers. It says bike and a bunch of numbers, reference numbers. You can change that and name it Happy Days Ride or whatever. Yeah, and. That's, I mean, that's basically it. So you can manually upload, which I did find out um, more the hard way, but it was hit and miss, but I, I managed it. It's quite easy when you went upload. Um, you can GPS, Bluetooth, you can you can Bluetooth it to your, your laptop. But I just did it with the cable when it came up with the ride. If you don't want to save automatically to Strava website, you might want to have a look first. You can put it through the system and then upload manually to Strava. Okay, so I um, hope you found this um, fairly informative and um, just gives you another option. So if you want to um, save your pennies and you want to buy something with a long battery life, then just have a look at um, the Brighton uh, website, see what's available. Okay, thank you.